Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. We have a couple of things to do, two quests to turn in, one of which um, I wasn't expecting to solve this quickly. How may I help you, Commander? No, no, how may I help you? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. No, no, I did. <laughs> Thank you. I always <laughs> regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Uh, sure, why not? You crack open the bottle, I'll get the glasses. Two old times. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, that was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Hmm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Hmm. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolic Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Hmm. Um. I don't want to miss out on any of these options here. Let's just toast a friend. To the people we care for. May we never take them for granted. <clears throat> well, that was nice. Oh, nice. More Medi Gel. Also, the camera is swaying because we're drunk. Okay, that's, uh, I don't know how much brandy we had. Woo, good stuff, I suppose. Uh, wait a second. Should I... All right. <clears throat> uh, sure, let's go down to engineering and hand over those, whatchamacallits, power couplings. I just heard. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Oh. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Um. Oh, Kenneth, the Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. I mean, that's not necessarily true, but I mean, I'm personally not a, personally not a fan of poker or any kind of card game really. Um, also, I don't know if uh, Shepard's in the best. Um, like, is if, if his current condition is perfect for playing a game like that? But well, sure. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic! I'll get the cards. <laughs> My skill in five's a bit rusty. You'll be also, easy I'm on drunk. the rookie, right? <laughs> of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh oh. <laughs> oh God. How much money? Oh wait, I've won five hundred credits. I was really expecting to lose here. Be gentle on the rookie. I Love can't that. believe we fell for that. <laughs> it's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, 500 credits are not really worth mentioning, but it's nice. <clears throat> all right. All right. Uh, let's get that. Medigel upgrade, I suppose. And if I'm not mistaken, that should also unlock something else. One of those more. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks. One of those more um, pricey ones. Let's see here. Armor upgrades. Medigel capacity. Oh, wait, we already got that? Hmm. No, no, we didn't. 
Uh, upgrade, wait. Um, yeah, okay. There was a second one we bought. Okay, gotcha. And now we can get the trauma module. Which, uh... Hmm. You know, to heal your squad to full health. I suppose that that's probably going to come in handy. I don't know how much it heals now. Honestly, the entire health system is a bit obscure to me as of now. I know it's there, but I mean, it seems to be a, an auto healing thing. So healing is o only ever going to be important in the mid in the heat of combat, I suppose. Uh, but I guess when it's when it's necessary to heal, it's better to heal full. Um, I mean, I, I'm going to want this eventually, and platinum seems to be surprisingly abundant. So, why the heck not? Right. What else was there? Weapon upgrades, nothing interesting, or nothing that we can actually get. Hmm, yeah, this is not super interesting. This is a bit more, eventually. Oh, or was it this one? Oh, wait, no, that... Okay, that's similar, but... Uh, refills shields. I, I see. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, this one I don't really need. Prototypes. Morden's Omnitool, yeah. Eventually. I mean, I'm going to use them again, I suppose, at some point, but... Uh, not right now, and in any case, I don't want to spend half of my ESO, which seems to be pretty rare. Okay, anything else? No. We have to talk to Mord. Wait, have we have, have we talked to Mordin? No, we have not. Not since returning from Jeff, the latest mission. How can I help? Um, although. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Oh no, I. Cerberus think personnel in excellent condition. Always. Some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything um, else? All right. Wait. Is the lab working well? Quite satisfied. Just yeah, need yeah. more samples, more collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Have you got a minute to talk? Per anything else? I'll let you. We'll work. be here if you need me. All right. Who else would you? Uh, who else do we have to talk to? I suppose we can talk to Joker. He usually has a comment or two on the latest mission. And we haven't Hi. talked to. I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back, and make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Right. Um. We haven't talked to. Uh, what's her name? Oh, hey. Flight controls. Oh. Was that here before? I feel like it wasn't. Upgrades are but maybe I never looked in that direction. Compensating. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back! That's yeah. great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. Oh, come on. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask him. People person. Right. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the num no surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. <laughs> it's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Nothing more about Garrus? Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but we're stuck yeah. in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. Hmm. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Well, we were your team, yeah, Commander. Asked about With the before. Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I assume everything is going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. <laughs> That's it for now. Okay. See you, Commander. Huh. Yeah. Unfortunately, not not very much on Garrus. 
I guess they didn't necessarily come along, uh, get along very well. I suppose I can understand why, but no matter. I like Eris. Uh, wait, I. Why do I keep thinking the the elevators back here when it's clearly easily reachable? No messages for you, Commander. Thanks. Um, right. Miranda. I think that should be it for um, for the Normandy. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Um, that's good. Normandy upgrades, ah, yes. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Oh, advanced mineral scanner. That... Oh. Okay. That does what exactly? Greatly speed up planet scanning process. Hmm. Well, I guess I want that. Much more so than the med bay upgrade, of course. Um, yeah, I'll have to... I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to make the uh, required iridium in the next system we explore. Which might happen this episode. Um, yeah. Whenever okay. you have the time and resources, let me know. You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll so let you work. Of course, Commander. Hmm. Okay, so she had a ship upgrade to suggest. Um, Morden had his personal amp thing. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Oh, Thanix cannon. Okay. Turing designed uh, Thanix magnetic hydro hydronamic cannon is now installed on the Normandy. No, it's not. Not yet. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. Okay. Um. I wasn't aware that there's, there was going to be ship-to-ship -ship combat, so I'm not sure how this is going to come into play, but of course I'm going to want that eventually. I think I want the mineral scanner first, but well, we'll see. I might get enough. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. Yes, I will. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Hmm. I mean, aren't the collectors supposed to be almost, almost legendary and like super mysterious and nebulous, and with nobody really knowing much about them at all? So how do we know, like, what to expect from their ships? Do we know their specifications? Do we know how how strong they are? the Cerberus crewman giving you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. I see. Talk to you later, No one really wants to talk to me. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, except, uh, he doesn't want to talk to me, but, you know, apart from that. Anyway... I guess, uh, wait, where was... Where was Zaid? Was he all the way down? Don't really expect much from him. Oh yes, okay, even lists crew members, that's actually quite helpful. Oh, right, right, right. This mission takes me back. Does it? So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Yeah. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Me so. and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. 
Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. A Hannah? That jellyfish nearly choked me to death. <laughs> okay. I wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hannah since. Hmm, good to know. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Well, thanks, Zaid. That was surprisingly interesting. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I have talked to Jacob last time. Oh, I probably also want to check out the cabin's, uh, the the captain's cabin. But just to make sure. Commander. Oh, not Can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The collectors cut her like butter. Cut this her armor like butter. just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in secret dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Uh, sure. Like heavy ship armor, which we can't afford. Huh. Okay. Uh, that sounds useful. And since we can't afford it, sure. Why not? No, oh, was there anything else? Yes. I don't know why it's showing me those things yet, uh, right now. But thanks, I guess. Commander. Let's see here. Can I help you with something? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? Hmm. Weird. I thought I had talked to him last time, but maybe I just never chose this option here. Um. What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? Hmm. Okay. I mean... Have we asked him this? Not sure. I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Saved the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good deed's like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. Okay. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. I we'll see. talk later. Come on. Okay, good. Well, now we should be good in terms of unlocking upgrades and having talked a bit. Right, I did buy some trinkets. Status. Can I? Cannot uh, level them up or anything from here. I don't think. Upgrades. Just the overview of those. Unread messages. No new messages. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you haven't found any gear, as far as I know. Huh. Maybe when we talk to Edie? What's no. this area of the ship? Yeah, I know what this, this area of the ship is. Thanks. Officer's quarters. Um, it's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served up. I did this buy is that. A Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodation that spaceship been model made for personal taste. and that magazine. That's not that said, I really want to take a look at it, but I was kind of expecting them to show up in my, my quarters. Anyway, I feel like I've spent enough time hanging around here. There's uh, one thing. Have I talked to Kelly? I think I have. Um, there is one thing I need to do at the uh, at Omega, and that is return to Ariam because we have that uh, data pad that we found while rescuing Garrus. 
I mean, I don't feel particularly obligated to to do anything for her, but if nothing else, it might gain her favor, and that sounds more useful than not having it. Who do I want to take? Uh, maybe Garrison Morden. I mean, not that I expect them to make a difference for this mission here, or it's not really even a mission. Oh, right. Garrus has points to spend. Well, uh, concussive shot, massive blast that propels enemies with bone crushing force. Okay. Explosive shot knocks down and damages your opponents, leaving them open for additional attacks. That sounds useful. Um, this is going to do what exactly? Oh, just more damage. And throw them back farther, maybe? I mean, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of knocking enemies around too much. Knocking them over seems fine. I hope it doesn't fling them halfway across rooms. Let's see, overload. Um, massive damage on shields and synthetic enemies, right? That's useful. Turian Rebel, increases health, weapon damage, power damage. By quite a bit. And this is the uh, loyalty thing, which... You know, in all honesty, it should already be unlocked for Garrus, but whatever. Um, yeah. Let's only give him some of this, and some of this, and some of this, and, uh... I don't know. Do I level up evenly, or... Let's see what exactly happens here. Okay. Rank 2 also stuns synthetic enemies. Which seems useful to have. You have two points to spend, which doesn't do anything right now. Okay, good. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Nice. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not that they probably saw him without a helmet, so... Captain anything? Gavorn, head of the Vorcha task force. Got something to report? Uh, There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. Vorcha? They're a pestilence. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Hmm. Can't help but feel that he's probably going to be involved in some later quest. Eventually. Right. But I don't re really want to hang around here too much. Maybe I'm going to check the shops once more, but primarily Come I just want to go ahead and talk to Arya. Take a look at the at the Merc station here, real quick, which is locked. Gotcha. Arya has a job she needs doing. Oh. You up for some work? Was he staying around here before? I feel like he wasn't. That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed Mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers, a Krogan named Patriarch. Another guy. She'd yeah. like you to keep that from happening. What's the Blood Pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. <laughs> What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Hmm. I see. Sure, I mean, I I can't very well. I'll look into it. Not do Good. anything. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. Okay. I'll, I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. I wonder if I should do that first before talking to her? Eh. I don't really think there's a good reason for that. 
What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Six times way. So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't need mundane things you can find yourself. Just don't waste my time. Right. One scan and we're straight to business? Your death was down. Whatever you need will come out on its own. Well, Maybe I'll be here. I guess it was some extra experience. Still not much, but, you know, I'll take it. Hey, Anto. Yeah, were these guys here before? And could I have talked to them before? Talk, talk oh, well, I guess he isn't really the doctor type. Right. Right. Patriot was over in lower. Uh, lower. What you call it? Afterlife. But thanks for reminding me, Wall. Hey, they have a new bartender. Good, good for them, and good for me. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? I'm good for now. Of yeah. course, bastard deserved what he got. You again. Greetings. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. But perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Hmm. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could... You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Huh. Oh, I mean, this works for me. I was almost expecting something like, uh, you know, he, him refusing to go, you know, as in, let them come and kill me, end this miserable exp existence and all that. So, how exactly is this going to work now? You return. I've heard nothing of the assassins. Do you have news? Or have you changed your mind? Shall I slink no, no. back to the safety of Arya's protection? I should be going. Hmm, I guess... Um, I mean, they, they probably show up right as I leave here, or something. No? Hmm. What's the channel say? Find the thugs. In or near Afterlife. Oh, okay. Guess I can do that. Let's see, uh, no, I can't look at my weapons here. In or near, well. Oh. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. You're Patriarch's crant. I wasn't aware the old man had one. Well, he does. You should have done your homework. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. No actual fighting. Works for me, again. You killed them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. Eh. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. 
Yeah, I'm, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't interpret too much into this, or expect too much from Ar from Arya. Really, waste this. Damn. I mean, ultimately, it's not really my concern. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. All right. I mean, I'm not too concerned about what Arya thinks of me. And I'm certainly not not specifically interested in in anything uh, that has to do with Omega, really. I mean, I, I'm here, I came here for business and I'm really done with it, as far as I can tell. Arya wants to speak with you, Gilman. That's you know. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassins yourself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Let me guess, she sent them. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men sent here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Hmm. Why is the Paragon answer no thanks? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm suspicious, but if uh, there's a chance for for money, <laughs> I'll take it. What's the catch? No catch. I don't need it, and I don't want it to go to waste. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. <laughs> to deal with, huh? I mean, I'm okay with that. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. I mean, we've heard when most I of the details. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, huh. a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch he was something different. A powerful friend. Powerful friend. Hmm. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Superior intel? Assassination? That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title. And the man. <clears throat> really? So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting, but let's move on. <laughs> Do you need something else? I don't think so. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? You look like you need to loosen up a little. <laughs> no thanks. Hmm, nice. Some credits. Well then. We'll see how much. Come on, let me in. 
uh, we'll see how much of, a, of an actual quest that smuggler cash ends up being. But either way, whether it's just killing some smugglers, perhaps, or or just going straight to the treasure, it's gonna be gonna be good. Yeah, I could pay his way. I have to still, go, but please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Right. Heavy weapon ammo. Hmm. Yeah, shotgun damage, not for that price, thanks. Should I buy that right away? It seems like it's gonna be useful eventually. I can't really see myself using up a couple of rockets against against a boss enemy, for example. Hmm. Sure. Now what's this? Also, I think it, this might actually unlock other upgrades. I feel like there was something that required another heavy, heavy weapon uh, ammo upgrade. I might be wrong about that. Whatever, sniper rifle damage. Ah, oh, this is so pricey though. For only 10% increase. Hmm. I don't know, is it smart burning all of my cash this quickly? I really don't know how many shops there are going to be in the game. I guess there are going to be a couple on Citadel, most likely. Hmm. But again, I want this eventually. So, and and I am using sniper rifles. So I'll take it. Seems silly not to take it. It's not like I'm completely broke either. Hack module, yeah. I'm gonna hold off on that. Okay. And still locked off, yep. Well then, back to the Normandy it is. And we'll see. Where where is that cache supposed to be? Smuggling depot. An eclipse smuggling depot has been detected on planet Deratar, far yard system. Our dust nebula, okay. Uh, the lost operative Loric of the power system. That's not this system, right? It's just the same nebula, probably. Um right. Okay. Well let's return first, take a look at the galaxy map. Solar System map. We haven't seen anything like the Galaxy map yet. Well, we'll see. <sighs> Once the Normandy is finally loaded... Oh, <laughs> it's spawned right here. That's good. Uh, yes, leave orbit. I think we're done here for the time being. Okay. Oh, that's the Fathar system. Good. There's the Normandy crash site. God, this ship moves slowly. Okay. I mean, we don't really know anything about these other systems yet. Natalia. Right. We have checked out all the planets here. The Omega 4 relay. The Omega 4 relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to pass freely back and forth through the relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega 4. Some say there is a black hole at the, at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there is some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the collectors capture or destroy those passing through the relay, which definitely seems like the likeliest explanation. Okay, so what happens when we choose this, though? Oh, okay, I see. That makes sense. Huh. 
local cluster, right? This is where the citadels. It seems like the like the galaxy view of the galaxy is slightly shifted, slightly turned clockwise compared to the to Mass Effect One, where I would say that this this is about where citadel used to be, and this is where local cluster used to be. Hmm. I don't know why they did that, but I mean. Doesn't really matter either way. Okay. Omega Nebula, Hourglass Nebula. Right. So we could just. I I was thinking about getting the Normandy crash site out of the way. Oh, wait. Oh, that takes up fuel, okay. So I should probably think about where I want to go first. Amada, Fathar. So I guess I could have used either the Fathar or uh, Amada exits, so to speak. Hmm. Right, let's, let's get the uh, Romney crash site out of the way. I've heard kind of bad things about it, but then again... It is a it is a free DLC, right? Free with servers network. So I don't really see a reason to I don't know. Let's let's check these planets. Although Yeah, I can I guess I can start probably any planet here, which I will do. Um, most likely off-camera, though, because that's certainly not the most interesting thing to look at. Orbiting closest to the F-class star Armada, Chakan is a blistering uh, sunblast hell. Neither its carbon dioxide atmosphere nor its weak magnetic field provide, uh, provides any protection from the star's harsh radiation. Fortunately, Chakan has few significant resources and is only notable for an unusual purple desert in the southern hemisphere, the, thought to be the result of eroded spacerite. Spacertite? Spacertite, okay. Let's take a look. It's moderate, surprisingly. Oh, I actually need to do this to scan. Whoops. Hmm. Well, I guess. Oh! This is iridium. I need iridium. Although it doesn't seem to be very much. Uh, how did this work? Right. Probe launched. It's been a while since I last scanned for stuff. There was. Oh, hey, there is more. Probe launched. Over here. Probe away. Okay, now results are poor. That's probably probably my cue to leave this place and look somewhere else. I suppose there are still some resources left, but no. Hardly worth my time. Uh, Carora is essentially a great rock in space, tightly locked to Armada. Uh, to Armada. Its only notable feature is a chain of craters stitching, uh, stitching across the northern hemisphere thought to be the result of impacts by a swarm of meteors. Carora's low density suggests it contains no minerals worth, uh, no mineral uh, wealth beyond common light metals. It maintains a tenuous atmosphere of krypton and xenon. Right. Yeah, I'm not going to scan these remaining planets now. Eingana? I, at first I, I thought it said Eingang, which is entrance in German. Eingana. Um, Angana is a hot, beautiful, and deadly world, covered with the debris of ancient starships. Approximately 120,000, uh, 127,000 years ago, a series of battles were fought over it by two organic species, the Thoihan and the Inusanon. Inus Although no records of the conflict remain, most, histories, uh, most historians agree that both races wanted to colonize Angana, and neither were willing to share. The two lost hundreds of ships in a series of battles over Angana and its moon, Baraya. Many of these were eventually pulled in by the planet's gravity well. The Mass Effect drive cores of these ships broke apart, dumping refined element zero over large stretches of landscape. This poisoned the environment and wave of 
and a wave of extinctions followed, many of the animal species that remained showed a tendency to develop biotic powers. As the ecology of Angana, of Angana is uh, energetic and aggressive, this makes colonization a deadly peril. Huh. It also probably means that I pressed the wrong button here. Uh, it also probably means that there's going to be element zero to be found, right? Or not? I mean, so far I haven't... Oh, yeah, I guess there's a little bit. Yeah, sweet. Ooh, maybe I'm more than a little bit. Launching probe. It's the first time I find in any, any element zero element on a planet. Element zero is used for bio amp and omni tool upgrades, which allow yeah. squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Launching probe. Well, okay. Again, I'm gonna leave this for after this episode is recorded. Uh, Kara, gonna check that out in a moment. Angia. Angia is a typical ammonia methane ice giant. Uh, traces of chlorine and in the atmosphere give it a distinct green tint. Penetrating scans have revealed large numbers of hollow, unpowered objects with dimensions of 3.14 by 12.56 by 28.26 meters circulating in the equatorial cloud bands. These objects appear to have sails or wings attached, allowing them to be borne aloft by Angia's winds. While they are too deep, uh, too deep to be reached for study. Popular conjecture, popular conjecture is uh, in xenoarchaeological circles, holds that these are coffins of an ancient race who laid their dead to rest in the gas giant. Huh, pretty big. Pretty big for coffins, but then again, who knows? There might be multiple creatures in in each of them, or they might just be very, very large. Interesting. Okay, is that everything there is here? I think I've checked all the planets. Yeah. And I don't see anything else. Anomaly detected. Anomaly, huh? Alcaris crust is composed of carbon and water ice. While low density, its large size allows it to retain a thick atmosphere of methane and ammonia. It is believed that if Okara had acquired a bit more mass when the Armada star system formed, it would have formed the core of a second outer system gas giant. Alcara has three moons, Uluru, Wanjina, and Bayame. Okay, uh, sure, I guess we'll start the scanner here. Anomaly detected, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Launching probe. Uh, follow the white indicator on the reticule. Oh, ah, I see. It's kind of hard to see, honestly. Oh, there we go. Well, that's easy enough to spot. Probe launched. I have found something. Scans confirm the wreckage of SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone located amid the crash site. That's good. The shuttle really looks a bit weird. I wouldn't call it a cockroach, but I don't know what I would call it. Rabbit, maybe. Huh. Hey, the Mako. Seems to be mostly in tech. Can we please just take that? Or then again, I shouldn't wish for that. Uh, is there going to be fighting here? Dock tech. Oh. Granada, Caroline. Huh. Not one of the crew members I knew personally, I think. 
map, no mission. Hmm. I see. So it's gonna just give me a couple of flashbacks to the first game. Abhishek Pakti. Okay. Rosamund Draven. Yeah, all these. Uh, crew members that remained nameless in the first game. It's a, it's a d nice touch, I guess. Oh. Press B to place the monument. So can I decide where to place it, or... How does that work? Is that fragile crate? Maybe I want to shoot that, or bash it open. Oh, there's the duct tag. Talitha Draven. Yep. Hmm. I don't know, do I want to do that now, or is there any benefit to, to waiting? I guess it would make sense to place it near the cockpit, huh? Sure, why not? Or we could just look at a black screen for a long time. I see. Okay. What's this even supposed to... Oh, I see. Hmm. Yeah, well, not a great monument, if you ask me, but I guess it didn't, so whatever. Huh, just another dog tag inside. Amina Wabari. Refined element zero. Well, thanks, I'm gonna take that, even though it's not much. Marcus Grieco. Oh, please, just let me jump down. Thank you. Germain Barrett. Oh, what's this? Ah, the battery. Right? Or whatever these things are. Cryopods. And what exactly are those things? I feel like I knew that at one point. Or Orden La Flamme. Orden. Okay. Monica Negulesco. Are you supposed to be a fragile crate? Because <laughs> that thing did not look fragile. Raymond Tanaka, more Izo, that good. I feel like I could be exploring this a bit more systematically, but we'll see if I end up missing any. Robert Falawa, good check here. But, okay. Oh, dang it. Ah, oh, come on. I have to walk all the way around. I mean, I, I guess I can see why people don't like this very much. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's some extra experience, resources, some nice throwbacks to old times. I don't mind it too much. It also doesn't seem to be very long at all. 
can probably finish this before the episode is over. Which is my plan anyway. Helen M. Lowe. Uh, which part is this supposed to be? Oh. Oh, the, the mess hall. Why did I see a picture of Ashley then? Alexei uh, Dub Dubyansky? Not fall down here, there, huh? Okay. Right. Hector Emerson. Zero? Oh, there. Okay, we seem to have reached the border here. Well, there's something that way. I obviously haven't looked at the Mako yet. So, Silas Crosby. Is there going to be a memory flash for the Mako? No? Oh, yes. J. Gladstone. This... oh! Oh, I see. Command deck. Hmm. Not much left. Uh, Addison Chase. Data pad. Oh. Unrecoverable data. Mm -hmm. Spoke to the commander about this. I... All these damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced ship. I just don't trust them. Especially that damned Asari. An Aquarian! What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? Wow. Whose was this? Oh, Presley. What? Really? Come on, Presley. <sighs> well, with Aquarian, it seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I would babysit my children or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose that's not too bad. Oh, well. I guess he did warm up to them, huh? For a while now, and I'm taking a look back at past entries in this journal. Um, how blind I was at the time. I came on the ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say I would die for any members of this crew, regardless of what they, uh, what world they were born on. Wow. Okay, never mind. I take everything back. He was a good man, after all. How could I doubt him, even for a moment? Alright. Uh, how many more dark texts am I missing at this point? I lost track. Not that I need to keep track because the game does does that for me. And seven helmet. Oh. Okay. I guess I can add that to my to my outfit. Maybe. Or maybe it's just a trophy. We'll see. Two more. 
Jamin Bakari. Okay, there's got to be one up there. There's some more Izo over there. Nice. Hmm. What's this? Oh, one of the escape pods landed here. Hmm. No memory is triggered by that. Well then. Oh, come on. Carlton Tux. And only one more. Really hope I didn't pass it up somewhere. Oh, I did not. Awesome. Mandira Raman. Okay. Oh, that completes the loop. Perfect. So is there anything else? No, I guess not. I guess not. Complete. Well, that was that. Yeah, I mean, it's not the, the most exciting bit of content, but... Again, I don't see anything... Anything wrong with it, really. Especially since it's free. I guess people just like to complain about things. Um, well, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, I'm going to probably go look for some resources in the meantime. And then we'll head for the next system. Maybe just explore an unmarked system. Looking for, for quests. Yeah, I might do that next time. Anyway, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.